The Golden Badger Once upon a time, when the world was still young, people would collect food either by hunting, fishing, or collecting fruits and berries from the trees and bushes. They never grew their own crops, as the land was too hard to till, and also, they believed that what the earth provided them with was enough. Thus, when winter came, the poor people would starve terribly. The fairies of the land saw this and felt sorry. They decided to hold a meeting. We must do something for the poor people, or else they will suffer every winter. Why can't they grow the fruits themselves? So troublesome. You're complaining? I grew three mango trees just because one kid wanted to eat so many. Hmm. What if we found a way to teach them how to harvest the crops on their own? Good idea. Fine. We will find a way to do that then. One day, it was one of the fairies, Sunflowers' birthday. She had turned 16, and all the fairies in the land were supposed to celebrate it. I'm gonna get the darling this beautiful blue dress. I made it, so of course it's gonna look amazing on her. Well, I will give her a crown of only the most beautiful flowers. When she looks at herself in the mirror, she will always remember me. Ugh, you love yourself too much. What about you, Robin? What gift will you give her? Robin was the fairy of all birds and animals of the kingdom. She looked at the gifts the others had and felt a bit sad. Well, I haven't got anything yet, but I'll get her something equally beautiful. That evening, she sat with her friend Ellie the Elf. She told Ellie everything about the beautiful presents the other two fairies had brought. <laughs> well, what would you like to give her? I would like to give her something that would protect her and stay by her side. Oh! Robin suddenly moved her hands and created a badger with all her magic. Ooh, a badger! Wait, let's make it prettier. Ellie used all her powers and turned the badger golden in color. It shone and glittered and Ellie's magic had made the badger even stronger. Robin went to the party and presented the golden badger before Sunflower. Everyone was so surprised to see the marvelous creature. Wow, I have never seen such a beautiful badger before. That's because it's a special one, just for Sunflower. It shall be her pet and will grow up by her side. Sunflower named the badger as Gullen, which meant golden. Gullen was very strong and fast. He could run for miles without getting tired and could dig deep into the ground with its little paws. Hello, Sunflower. Enjoying your day out, I see? Oh, hello, sir. It's so warm, I just had to be outside. Is something wrong, Elder? You look kind of worried. Oh, nothing. Just the humans. Humans? Really? Oh, tell me. I could help. <laughs> well, help me if you can. And so he told her everything, after which Sunflower thought for a little while. What if we send Gullen to teach the people? He would be able to dig and till the hard soil and make it easier for the people to grow the crops. Gullen? Yes! That would be an excellent idea. But my dear, wouldn't you miss him terribly? Oh, I would. But he'd only be gone in the day. By evening he'd be home, so it's fine. Right, Gullen? <laughs> All right then, we'll send him to the people tomorrow. And so, the next day, Gullen walked happily and curiously towards the people. 
Everyone stared as they had never seen such a beautiful animal before. What is that creature? I don't know, but it's really beautiful. Gullen went around happily and suddenly started digging through the ground. What is that silly animal doing? Has it gone insane? Don't know, but I'm curious to see what it does. Gullen dug with great speed and gusto. The earth started to fly out in the air and some went on to the people. Soon, the strong badger had dug up a huge piece of land and as it turned to evening, Gullen looked up and soon went away. What? He left the land just like that? Well, that was boring. And he made all us dirty, too. I know, right? Ew. As night fell, the people all turned to go. The next day, the people came out of their homes and saw Gullen strolling on the soft, dug-up land. Around him were many little birds. Look, it's back, and he's playing with the birds. What's it up to now? And what are those birds carrying? Look, they've dropped it on the ground. <laughs> How funny. The funny creature is trampling all the dirt on it. <laughs> Gullen had got the birds to collect all the seeds for him and was now planting them in the ground. One of the birds dropped a seed near the woman. It's a seed. We can roast and eat this. These silly birds are ruining our food. Well, we can't really do anything. Let the birds do as they wish. We have plenty of seeds for ourselves to eat. Just then, it started to rain. The birds flew away and Gullen disappeared too. The people soon went inside as well. After some days, two women were returning home from collecting some fruits. Ugh, I hate the rains. Especially after that silly creature dug up the ground, it's become even more ugh, slimy and sticky. I don't see why it did. Oh, look, look there. It's a little peach plant. Huh? You're right. Also, it's the same place the birds drop the seeds. Oh, it's starting to rain again. Let's go. They ran back to their homes and left the little plant to grow. Over the days, there were many peach trees full of sweet, ripe peaches. Whoa! Did the badger do that? Seems like it. So you can grow trees from these little seeds? Seems interesting. Hey, want to try? The people were so fascinated that they started to grow more trees and plants on the tilled ground. Of course, some of those seeds took longer to grow, while others didn't grow at all. But the people were patient and soon learned what to do. <coughs> we have more fruits. We have more veggies. Good thing we know how to grow more plants. Thank goodness that animal tills for us. I wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, but I don't like the idea of the little thing being better than us. I mean, shouldn't we be able to dig too? Not with our hands, no. Maybe if we used a rock or a sharp stick, then yeah, an animal can't be better than us. Exactly. The badger is strong, but it can't cook or clean like us. We are smart. If it can dig, so can we. So the people started to dig and till the soil. They didn't find it easy and began to build tools to help them break the soil with. Ugh! This is really tough! Ouch! My back! Don't stop! Remember, if it can do it, so can we. 
But as they started to till the ground, the people soon got stronger and the work got easier for them. Soon the badger and the people of the land worked side by side. Hey, Diggy, give me the pickaxe, would you? <laughs> Thanks! One seed here, one seed here. Oh, <laughs> you surprised me, little Diggy. Diggy, what's a Diggy? Since he digs a lot, we called him Diggy. But as the people started to till the ground and grow more crops on their own, Sweet Gullen visited the humans less and less. And soon, he stopped coming entirely. Over the years, the people who knew about him grew old and started to forget about him. Uh, Mama, this is so hard. I want to go play. <laughs> it was hard for us too, but there was this strange and beautiful animal that came to help us. Oh, yeah. I'd forgotten all about that. What was it called? Diglet? Diggy. That's it. Diggy was a beautiful animal that dug with us all and taught us to grow crops. An animal taught you to grow crops and plants? That's too strange, don't you think? And where did the animal go? Hmm, I don't know. It just disappeared. I don't believe it. Well, if I think about it, it really was very much like magic. You don't have to believe it, though. <laughs> An animal teaching us to grow crops and all? It's too funny. I have got to tell my friends about this. In this way, Gullen soon became a story told around the world, and the children loved it. <laughs> <laughs>